So now that we have seen how addition and subtraction are done, we will see how multiplication is done for binary numbers. So for binary numbers, multiplication can be done in two methods. The first is called the paper method and the second is called the computer method. So these are the two methods in which you can perform multiplication for binary numbers. So the thing with binary numbers is, as, as, as you can see for yourself, as you can see for yourself, the paper method, as the name suggests, it is nothing but the way you do your multiplication for numbers. So I would like you guys to pick up, um, to pick up two binary numbers, solve as, solve as I do here. We'll do the uh, paper method. I'll just get rid of this. First up is the paper method. So pick up two binary numbers, say 1011. I no longer have to write base 2 for you, you know, looking at the digits. So I want to multiply 1011 with 101, okay? So I want to multiply this with this. So 1011 is multiplied by 101. So there is a one. The least significant bit is one. So 1101. The next is zero. Zero, 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 zero. And the next is one again. So what do you do? One, one, zero, one. So this is exactly how you do your multiplication on paper for any number. And this is exactly how you do for binary numbers. So now add them up. This is one, 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 one and one. One and one is a zero with a carry of one, right? So this is a zero with a carry of one. So I have one and one. So this is the product of these two binary numbers. So this is how you do multiplication using the paper method. This is how you multiply two binary numbers using the paper method. And this applies to any big numbers. All you need to remember the basic things is the one plus zero, one, those, those things. I'll write them down for you again. Whenever you're multiplying, adding, subtract, subtracting, remember these things. One plus zero, one. Zero plus one, one. Zero plus zero is zero. And one plus one is zero with a carry of one. So these are additions. So now, subtractions. One minus zero is one, zero minus zero is zero, whereas zero minus one is one with a borrow of one. Zero minus one is one with a borrow of one. And then the same thing applies for multiplication. When you multiply, one into one is one, one into zero is zero, zero into one is zero, and zero into zero is zero. 
So these are the three basic concepts which you have to remember all throughout when you are doing binary operations. And now we will look at the computer method. Let us look at the computer method. So now we saw that there are two methods for multiplication. The first is paper and the second is computer. We just saw paper. So now computer. So why is it called computer method? Because computers use it. That, that, that is the right answer because computers, they cannot do a paper method of multiplication. Why? You have, you have in the paper method, you are able to add three separate rows and you are able to get the final end result. But a computer cannot do that. A computer can do only two, I mean, one addition, that is one operation at a time. So to accommodate that, we have something called the computer method of binary calculations, by binary multiplication in this case. So for this, for any operation, you have a multiplicand and a multiplier, right? Multiplier and plicand. Right? So now you have to remember that to do a computer type multiplication, the computer say this is say this is of n bits and this is also of say n bits. The multiplier, so how many bits are there in the multiplier? Those many bits, so twice the number of bits have to be there in that computer register. Each computer differs in the type of calculations it can do. Why do you think your um, Casio uh, Calci cannot perform every um, big, big numbers you give in? Because there is a limit to the number of uh, to the number of bits it can hold in its registers. So this is the same thing here. The multiplier, whatever you have, double the number of those digits. So if I have a huge binary number 10111101010101, if I have a binary number, say, of 10 digits, okay, I need a register that can hold 20 bits, 20 bits. Okay, I shouldn't say digits, I, sh I should say bits. So if there are n bits, I need a register that has 2 into n bits. Okay, and then you have your multiplicand. So now, pick pick two numbers, uh, put two random numbers. Um, I don't know, let's go with um, 1, 1, 0, 1, everything looks 1s and zeros. And one zero one zero. How about that? Okay. So I want to multiply. So uh, my question is multiply this with this. Okay. So this is your multiplier, and this is your multiplicand. So whatever your multiplier is there. The first step, what do you have to remember? How many bits? So this is your multiplier. You have four bits. So you need a register. You need a register that can hold eight bits. So even when it comes in your exams, you have to draw the bits there to show this. You have to draw the, if not the tables, right? you write all the numbers and then you have to mark there that there are eight bits. Okay, so I, I do it like this. The first step is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, and 8. This is my register. This multiplier is placed 
in the left side of the register in the left hand side so one zero one zero so half of the bit it half of the bits it occupies the other half of the bits the right hand side these are going to be filled with zeros so this is step one so the requirement you know to do a multiplication of binary numbers you need a register that can hold twice the number of bits of the multiplier so this register is going to hold is going to hold your multiplier initially and then it is going to hold your partial sum and then finally your actual end result that is what this register is going to hold so the step one is put put all this bits whatever you have in the register in the first left hand side of the register and all the bits on the right hand side of your register are marked with zero so the next step is step two step two is what is your multiplicand you have a multiplicand here so to have that the, 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 the there is a catch okay so first step after you have put everything <clears throat> you have one zero one zero okay you have four bits do a left hand shift you know what a left hand shift right hand shift circular shift all those things are right so you need to do a left hand shift so what happens then this one is going to come out of the register right so what is going to be there in the register this one has come out so one is out so now in the register i have zero one zero 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 replace that with zero okay so what happens is when you do the left hand shift if you get one outside there are only two possibilities either one comes outside or zero comes outside so in a case where one comes outside add the multiplicand so what is the multiplicand one one zero one 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 zero one so what is the result here zero plus one one zero one one zero zero one zero so this is what the register eight bit register is going to hold after your step two now these are your four bits this is the first time you have done so have a counter how many bits four bits right you have to repeat this operation for four times you have done it once one two three four okay once is done so the second time do the same thing what comes out now zero comes out now so when a zero comes out you have you just have to add zero okay zero 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 and that usually doesn't make any change so in this case zero has come out and what will this be one zero 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 one one sorry 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 one zero zero one one zero one zero so after the second time you have added zero and this is your this is what your register is going to hold so now the third time you're doing a shift this time one comes out of the register right when one comes out of the register what will you have one has come out now you have zero zero one one zero one zero zero so this is what you have in the register right now and to this i'm going to add one one zero one okay um i'll use this i'll call i'll just uh, write the same thing zero zero one one zero one zero zero so now i have just done my shift okay and the one has come out and this is what i'm left with now that one has come out i have to add this multiplicand to this 
1, 1, 0, 1, right? So what do you get? 1, 0, 1 plus 1 is, is a 0 with a 1 carry. Again 1 plus 1 is a 0 with a 1 carry. 1 plus 1 is a 0 with a 1 carry. Is a 0 with a 1 carry? 1 and 0. Right? So now, how many times did I do this shift? I did this once, um, two, uh, three times. I did my shift three times now. So I have to do my shift for once more. I have to do it once more. So the fourth time I do the shift, I have four bits in my multiplier, right? That is why I have to do the operation four times. If I have, if I have 10 bits in my multiplier, I have to do the operation 10 times. We won't get those those long sums anyway, don't worry. Okay, I do my shift. What do I have outside? What do I have coming out? I have zero coming outside. So what is the, what does the register look like now? 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1. And the last bit is 0. So now when you have 0 coming out, what will you add? 0, 0, 0, 0. Right? Which is basically the same thing. So the final end result is 1, 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 0. Okay? So that is your final result when you multiply the two numbers which we have taken. So this is the computer method. So this is the computer method in which you do binary multiplication. So this can sound a little bit, little bit uh, confusing at first, but it is pretty simple. There are, there are basically just a couple of steps involved. You have your multiplier, And your multiplicand right so basically you need if your multiplier is of n bits you need a register of 2 n bits your register your register should have 2 n bits the other register which holds the multiplicand can have as many bits as the multiplicand itself that's all okay 2 n bits. So in these 2 n bits, the first half, I mean the left hand side of that resistor, you are going to put your multiplier and in the right hand side, you're going to fill it with zeros. How many ever that may be. So this is the first step. Okay. The second step is to do a left hand shift. Meaning, the digit in the leftmost bit of this register pops out and the last bit is filled with a zero. Okay. So, one, the, the rule is here. There are only two ways. There are only two options for the bit to come out. The bit has to be one or the bit has to be zero. So, when... If one comes out of this register, when you do this left hand shift, when a one comes out, add the multiplicand, add the multiplicand to this number and put it in the next step. However, if a zero comes out, add zeros, add zeros to the register and then put the result, which is basically no change. Okay. How many times do you have to perform the left hand shift is equal to the number of bits present in the multiplier. Those are the number of times you have to perform the left hand shift. So this is how you do computer method of binary multiplication. So if you want to try some, some examples on your own, I believe you have.